Are heightened tensions in the Middle East. Oil prices surged yesterday, almost 15 percent higher after this weekend's attack on the Saudi oil production facilities. President Trump spoke out about the attacks yesterday at the White House and who he thinks should be blamed. That was a very large attack, and it could be met with an attack many, many times larger very easily by our country. But we're going to find out who definitively did it. We think we know who it was, but I didn't say anybody. But uh, certainly it would look to most like it was Iran. This, as Iran says, it is not open to diplomatic talks with the United States. Joining me right now is retired four-star general, Fox News senior strategic analyst, General Jack Keane. General, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for yeah, being good here. Good morning, Maria. Your reaction to the attacks I have not spoken to you since this has occurred, as well as the president and uh, Secretary Pompeo and Lindsey Graham saying that Iran was, uh, was behind this. Yeah, the United States is absolutely convinced that uh, Iran has done this. Uh, uh, clearly, when you just look at uh, the point of origin, the, the attacks came from the north orientation, northeast, northwest. Um, the Iranians uh, instigated their stooges, the Houthis, to claim responsibility for that, and they're operating south of Saudi Arabia uh, in Yemen. But we have more information uh, than that, and, and the Saudis are certainly developing their information uh, based on the delivery of the weapons and the impact of those weapons. The Saudis have identified the weapons used as, as being Iranian-owned. That's one thing. And I think where we stand, frankly, is the Saudis are not totally convinced yet that Iran carried out this mission. The United States is. And I think what, what has happened here is we have multiple sources of information. Some of those we share with our allies, some of those we don't, because it actually identifies, if we, if we provide the intelligence, it identifies the source. It's likely that's the primary reason that Secretary of State Pompeo is going to visit the Saudis, so he can talk to them face to face about some additional intelligence uh, that we have. But make no mistake, this is a devastating attack on Saudi Arabia. Virtually half of their oil fields were interrupted by this. And, and let me say this, uh, Maria, because there's a misunderstanding here. There are those who say we should not be defending Saudi oil. It's not about that. U.S. national interest is a stable world economy. That is fundamentally an interest of the United States. And the Middle East oil flow, uh, the world economy is dependent on the evenness and stability of that oil flow. And that is what this is truly about. The Iranians got it. Yeah. They want to interrupt that oil flow and destabilize the world economy, create a crisis, and put pressure on the United States to back off the Iranian sanctions. That's uh, what yeah. this is about. And, and, and let's face it, this is, the, the oil market is a global market. So it's not even just about the Saudis or America. This is about the global oil supply. And we know that it's in Iran's best interest to get you know, the world in a place where they need Iranian oil so that uh, they, they can hope to get that oil back on the market. So what, what about that? Are you worried about the global supply of oil? I know that the U.S. is in a much better position today, but how quickly can the U.S. replenish what's been lost? Well, I, I'm not concerned about it because the, the Saudis are going to do everything they can to come back online very quickly. They said this week they'll get a third back. It'll take a several more weeks, I think, to get back to full capacity. What does concern me is the vulnerability of the Saudis' air defense systems here, because it, the estimate is 20-plus drones, a dozen-plus missiles, all of which appear to have penetrated their air defense systems. Yeah. We've got to do an autopsy on that, figure out what the weaknesses are, and help to shore that up and do the same thing for our other allies. I'm not talking about us providing the air defenses. They'll provide them, but we need to understand what the vulnerabilities are so that can be fixed.